Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're going to continue our no shot or no bullet wasted uh, legendary Iron Man run where we're trying to beat the game on the highest difficulty with no single shot being fired and of course also no explosive being used. We got a pretty interesting mission ahead of us, one that looks easy on paper but for this particular run it's actually quite hard as um, it is a uh, mission where we are needing to destroy relays, lots and lots and lots of relays. And the problem with those relays is, to be entirely honest, um, we only got hogbite. Everyone else is um, out of commission. We only had one other ranger and one in training. So we're going to fully rely on him being able to carry the mission. And usually our biggest issue is that if he attacks the relays, uh, he cannot attack any of the other uh, yeah, enemies that are going to come up, which gets us in that awkward position where we're pulling the entire map um, as we're slow, slowly but surely moving towards uh, the target. So let's see if I uh, decide to essentially just abandon the main objective and do a kill mission and farm some uh, kills instead or if we can actually pull this off. It's definitely a very difficult one. All right, and we landed. So let's take a good look here. We're landing on low ground. Thanks to the side trip, we have a pretty good oversight. So a corridor that we're supposed to walk through is sort of here. Got a pack over here. Got a pack over here and a pack over here. Well, that's going to be difficult. What we don't want to do is we definitely do not want to. Um, we definitely do not want to trigger multiple packs. Optimally, if we can use these here and ignore that pack for now, as we're moving forward. That would be helpful. The other option is, of course, moving all the way around here towards here and sprinting out to close uh, to seal the deal. Um, these are the two fields that we need to get to. You can see it. Um, this little console is in front of it. So yeah, that's really what we're going. Uh, what we need to do. Um, in terms of in terms of dealing with the situation, almost inclined to say Hogbite is moving up here and would engage that pack soon-ish. When I could kill this guy, um, I could always parry and kind of move my way through these receptors here and prolong the time. We just need the rest of the team to follow up, preferably around here, and then essentially move in. Question is what that pack is probably going to do. Can't answer that, not 100% sure. But let's start to move out of line of sight of them and see if the plan is somewhat solid. So Hogbite is our only offensive tool in this entire plan. And we gotta watch the network separation time really, really, really closely. These guys are luckily following Hogbite. It's good. What is the remaining team doing? Okay, they are moving a tiny bit away. No big deal. The idea is to hopefully not trigger them as long as humanly possible. And again, as long as these guys here are not aware about 
us being down here. No need to ask twice. There should be little suspicion. Gotta act now. And what I would want to do is start thinning out uh, the enemies. Like I said, we can deal with this guy. And we're doing that because we are simply parrying. Okay, he's taking a couple of shots. That's okay. It's all right. As soon as they add to the problem, we're no longer going to be okay. So for now, let's keep them outside of the vision range. This is going to be a fairly technical mission where we're trying our best to work with line of sight as much as possible. So if we were to attack up here, that is on the border of line of sight. Do we have another Another potential network device. I mean, this here is too far. Uh, this is clearly too far away. This here would be full, full cover, so that that is out of line of sight, which might be to our advantage, to be honest. So, if we were to move like this. We should be still out of line of sight. Let's try it. Come on. Well done. As we had hoped, the network separation has been temporarily Good. delayed. We're continuing to parry. This is just a distraction. Continuing to move. No, no, no. We're going to move all the way down here, buddy. Running. All right, yet another parry. I think we're going to run a little bit out of time. And really, the name of the game is No Turn Shall Be Wasted Here. If we move anywhere, we're most likely going to trigger these guys. And that means they're going to follow us. Which in return means I gotta have a really, really good plan of how to deal with it. Could move in here, kind of an aggressive in an aggressive fashion, and afterwards drop down here. Probably not enough movement to be honest. Go for him and trigger these guys as part of it. would drop us down to one turn if I did that
we would have to move in here. All right, let's move up and first of all do a little distraction. Optimal case would be to destroy one more of these devices. How should we do that? Do we have one left over anywhere in here? No, we don't. And that's really part of the problem. This here is going to, would be triggering. And we would have triggered all of them. Too many shots, he would probably not survive that. So let's think that through. Attacking him, it's not a kill. Can't do that yet. Um, can't reach any of uh, the grunts here. Unless I'm triggering them and then attacking them. Which would reduce the number of enemies here. And maybe allow us to withstand another turn. The problem is the mind spin would be pretty nasty. try to move all the way to here and hit him but that would leave us with no option with uh, to reduce the time up further like this here would be another basically attacking this over here would be another option but i fear that we're just delaying the inevitable Like we could go we could go like this we we'll go to here basically move up and destroy it this would trigger this pack for sure not 100% sure if we would trigger that pick, but it would be a bad play. It might end up with everything triggered as well. Then our backup would simply be attacking and sort of hoping that we could move to here, alternatively to here. And that's not a, or to here. That's not a good place either. This guy will just move up, take a shot into the open, and we're going to be in a problematic situation. You don't want to do that as well. I could attack from here. That would not trigger them, that would trigger these guys. And then sort of move to here, but we're going to be flanked either way. I am disappointed that there is no device over here. Prolong it one more round. I feel that the strategy is absolutely sound, but we're missing details. All right, moving up, gotta get closer. That triggers this pack here. All right, Lisa. Lisa is going to move up into half cover, essentially being another good target. And let's finally move up here. 
that should give us enough agency to move in. Unfortunately, Sonar here is the only one who can move as far as to do that. I'm not sure if we can withstand another round. Which is why I've chosen to trigger that pack and not that pack here. Alright. Trying to move outside of their line of sight. Which worked fantastic, so I am just going to parry here. That prevents us from being shot. And I can retaliate by killing this guy. We're definitely going to trigger those guys now. Yeah, now everybody is triggered, but we do have a somewhat solid chance to secure the network timer here. Albeit with a pretty nasty outlook for the soldiers here. Incoming, over here. Shoot into half cover, for the love of God. Okay, perfect. So so far that worked out well. Menace one five, they're about to disconnect the transmitter. This is our last chance. By the way, just out of interest, what are our hack options? Defense boost would be nasty. Yeah, I was hoping for combat stats. I'll take a look. Yeah, we're planting C4. The X4 charges are active, but the aliens are still working to isolate the transmitter. Okay, so what we're going to do here is. A bit of a chicken move. I don't want to lose Sonar. He did a fantastic job. And thus, we're just going to evac these guys out of here. Renvin is safe for now. All we need to do on the other side of the house is, let's just double check. If we hit him, we can jump down here. Or alternatively, get on top here and be absolutely fine. Okay, good. So. That'll destroy one more of uh, them. We're good to go. Could move up to here, but I prefer to... Well, this one here is good. Very far away. No line of sight. Great agency to get back up. It's probably better. This is a good place as well. But I think this one here is potentially the best one that we could get. That's going to be a resurrect. No, it's not. Oh, interesting. Okay. Lots and lots of double moves. As long as he's mind controlled, he's going to be safe. In the moment that he's no longer mind controlled, I am thinking about just evacuating him. Come 
All right, so I think we're going to... I think we're sort of going to do the obvious, which is killing one of uh, the troopers here. And then maybe jumping back here. All right, it's once again Hogbite against the world. He's used to that type of pressure by now. And we're cleverly abusing line of sight for our advantage. There is the reanimation that I was talking about. These guys are still protecting uh, the target and they're making it easier on me by moving Renvin further away. Fantastic, they left him alive. Okay, cool. Good. In XCOM Vanilla there was hidden overwatch. They removed that essentially when you were no longer seeing the enemy they uh, sometimes went for an overwatch uh, with you not knowing i think players complained and then it was essentially removed yeah we're going to go two here I'll leave these uh, three clowns and yeah see you later alligator they might have lost track of where we are now well that's totally fine It's a difficult pack to deal with. Uh, for now, we're still dealing with a sectoid here. He doesn't fully know where we are, which is fantastic, because I fully know where he is. Fifty percent chance of immediately killing him. Another pretty good chance to disorient him, which again did not happen. What I want to prevent is giving him the chance to even do a mind spin. So I think this here should be pretty secure. Hunkering down. Okay, cool. Ooh, that is a tough mission. Much tougher than it looks, guys. Maybe it looks tough. It is actually pretty difficult. Like I said, very technical XCOM uh, gaming because you don't really see the line of sight. And a lot of it kind of boils down to really knowing what the vision range is. Plus being confident in attacking these guys. And there we go, the machine continues to just kill, kill, kill. 
Okay. Hawkbite 1, enemy 0. Now it's just a matter of... ...of uh, reuniting both of our soldiers. And eventually getting these guys here. I like the idea of them sort of standing around this pole. On my way. Slowly, very carefully. We're not seeing anyone there, which is very good. The reason why I said slowly and very carefully is I want to close the door to give us more line of sight cover. Moving up. Very much closing the door now. And we might be able to abuse the line of sight um, here with an open and a closed door. These guys are double moving. They're trying to establish line of sight. That was a mistake. That was a huge mistake. We're going to jump down right over here and to not even get into the situation that they would be able to see us, let's just move away. It's hit and run, hit and run, hit and run. See? Can't see us, hence only thing that he can do is revive. And the reanimation is not going to save him. So if we were to kill this guy here... I think that that would not be the worst idea. He has a mind spin and that is the only thing that could actually harm us. Maybe we're going for the Sectoid because we can hit the Sectoid and drop down, which is out of line of sight of the zombie and the trooper. And it's a 50% chance to actually kill the Sectoid. Fortunately, again, not successful. Worst outcome for us. Got it. Move it. Moving away, just so that we're having a chance to not be targeted. This guy will, will die next turn. Now it's simply finishing the puzzle. We have the upper hand now. That's a two for one kill. Parrying. And Renvin moves to a spot where he cannot be hit. It's like playing chess with only just a very few pieces on the board. And uh, slowly but surely you are bettering your position until you're checkmating 
the opponent. Like I said, pretty technical uh, gameplay this time. I hope you appreciate uh, the mission nonetheless. That was a uh, work. Uh, that was a piece of art, but a lot of work uh, behind it. Boy, oh boy. And there we go. Boy, boy. That was a piece of work, and we got two promotions out of it. Fantastic. A hogbite immediately got, uh, gets this promotion, and only one more uh, rank, and we'll get all of the nice goodies. Um, I think we're essentially going to get deflect number one and channel just to make it easier to get uh, to get more uh, focus the question with Renman is are we going to risk it it's a 50 50 chance for him to get a class that we need or are we going to through the process of just promoting him normally i'll leave that up to how the game unfolds for now we're not in the need to promote him effort, got ourselves a scientist and yet work we've countered uh, the black market uh, mm, closure and that is that was just helpful very 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 helpful i am incredibly happy how the last mission turned out the game threw us kind of uh in a pretty hard curveball and we essentially managed to like overcome it i like the idea of uh, reduction of contact costs but at this point not necessary what is necessary though is uh, creating uh, training more soldiers i just realized by the way that renman no longer can be trained here so we need to promote him that's a problem before i'm doing this let's promote renman the good old-fashioned way like i said 50 50 at this point shit yeah too bad buddy i mean i love it that you're a grenadier But unfortunately, it's not going to do us any good. Got two rangers, one specialist so far. I think we're going to get uh, go for another ranger for now. But at this point, we need all the help we can get. There we go. Zirkim is starting to become a ranger. And we got ourselves a nice amount of supplies. Like I mentioned, we're going to go for proving ground second. Skulljack might be helpful for us. And since we're short on engineers for now, I would like to continue the excavation. As you can build. And we're... I would like to plan yet another building. Not sure yet we have five energy maybe i'm building something different this time maybe we're going for training center and um, are getting those uh, level ups and uh, skills a bit faster that would not be too bad the other option definitely would be an infirmary but we have the templar hq so healing could be done that way mimic beacon good Let's go for resistance radio. Very soon we're probably going to have a supply rate because we're still at zero alloy, zero alarium. I've often wondered how the aliens could conceive of such a being. Is there another world out there filled with these shape-shifting creatures? New objective added. Look at that. We've established contact with the local resistance and we can move Wonderful. The black site on your order. Got ourselves now 190 Sir, income, which is great. Security will be tight at the facility. Um, I've updated our latest operational objective. Can't yet Commander, as of right now, go we don't have here. Detail to get a solid bearing on the local resistance. But I think we wanted to go for more supplies. The question is 
is like 60 or 80 supplies more worth than the contact reduction and that's a good question contact uh, reduction is worth 40 until here or 80 until if you use it for a jump away soldier could be really anything most likely something that we do not need at this point we have very specific requirements for our soldiers so let's go for the supplies we will need more equipment a mimic beacon would be helpful yeah that's oh, the right call and there is the supply rate as if i would have played the game before it's almost like I know the timing of things. So let's take a look. We can build nothing because we're broke and we don't have a black. Uh, we don't have a black market. It's dangerous to take Hogbite with us, but we probably will need to do it because other than that, we only have Divot here. But Hogbite Sonar Divot is already something that I could get behind. I like it. If we're taking Renman with us on top of it, you know, by thinking about it, maybe a Grenadier could be some sort, uh, somehow useful. No shots fired. What does that mean for flamethrowers? Hmm. 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 Ah, flamethrowers, okay. Are they not okay? I mean, they're heavy weapons, so technically they are probably not okay. But I could build him in a way that he has armor, has a lot of armor, and maybe uses consumable items. I mean, with an extra grenade slot. Hmm. With the extra grenade slot, it wouldn't be too bad. Um, if we were allowed to use smoke grenades, which kind of comes back to what I was saying earlier, that would actually give um, the Grenadier a s still not a great value, but two smoke uh, grenades and another consumable item plus a lot of hit points aren't too bad. I mean, it's actually solid. Does he have anything else as an extra skill that could be helpful probably not well uh, cover removal but that includes shooting as well so all of his skills elsewise require his gun nah uh, i still think it that that would not be the best choice but yeah before using another rookie it certainly would be a better choice so not even a question so let's go with ranger ranger templar specialist and grenadier the grenadier will essentially just carry items really that's it uh, but yeah that sounds like a general plan no clue what's going to wait uh, wait for us maybe we need to simply knock a couple of crates um, off and uh, yeah get uh, get some uh, supplies or actually kill everyone uh, supply rise uh, runs are notorious for chosens but since we killed the chosen like only two missions ago she still has a cooldown for one more mission she always misses out two missions after being killed so we should be fine uh, with that and our target should be to get 15 alloys because Hello. then we're going to immediately change the research into plated armor 25 days is acceptable getting that extra utility slot is definitely um, uh, usable and we're also going to invest alarium crystals into psionics to then build and train psionics because we're going to uh, need them uh, i am even considering to build two psi operatives uh, so two psionic uh, um, labs in this run uh, let's see if that uh, is going to be a good idea. But yeah, training four Psy operatives on parallel uh, should be good to go. It's uh, going to be an, a really interesting run. But, but with four Psy operatives, that should give us a much, much different position. 
which brings us to the end um, guys thank you so much for watching and sticking uh, with me um, i appreciate your support as always if you want to leave a comment uh, down below uh, that would help the channel and as always take care and have a great one bye bye